What's going on guys? How's it going? I have a very strange motor here. So this motor is out of a Sunbeam lawnmower. Did some research and I found out the mower was made in 1970. So it's pretty old. This, looks really this old. runs on 120 volts AC, so it's wall current it runs on. So it's kind of a unique motor. Not only is this a motor, it also has gearing. As I'm turning this, it's spinning much faster. So we have a high RPM motor that's geared down and that gives you a lot more torque. Not only do I have one of these motors, I have two of them. Most mowers use a brushed DC motor and they have permanent magnets on them. I have to use a bridge rectifier like this to rectify the AC current to direct current. But this motor here, it's more like a skill saw or a table saw motor. I have here a regular universal motor armature brushes. Here, this is an iron stator that goes all the way around. A coil on one side and a coil on the other side. Take a closer look inside of this motor. It's a little chilly out here, that's why I have the gloves. And let's take a look inside. So here's our armature brushes, and this is our stator. There's our gearing. So your lawnmower blade attaches to here. Let's take the armature out and take a look at it. Pull this out, the armature. Looks fairly normal. So the stator is really odd. The stator is actually split. It does not go around the motor. So we don't have a, a coil on this side and a coil on the other side. In this configuration, coil goes wraps around and then we have our poles here. So the neutrals attached to this brush, hot that came in on the bottom of this coil goes round and then comes through this wire and through this brush here. So I haven't seen many motors like this, but the big question is, will it run on direct current? Will it operate as a universal motor? So I have batteries down here on the floor. They're all connected in series. So I have 48 volts. Cables are hooked up, connect up the terminal, and we'll see if this motor will power up. Let's see if it's reversible. All right, so I have here a package. Let's open this up see what's in here. So this brushed DC motor controller can run from 10 to 50 volts. So the lower the voltage you put into this, the less wattage you're gonna get out of it. At 48 volts or 50 volts, you can get up to 3000 watts. This is a very basic controller. All you have to do is hook up your battery negative and positive, and then your motor negative and positive. Connect our controller up here. So we're gonna connect our motor. So we'll call negative white. Black will be our positive. So the negative goes to the negative on the jumper cable. This jumper cable, we're connected to the cables. Make sure you double check your connections and then I'm gonna to attach to the battery. 49 volts. So the big moment here, will this motor run on this controller board? Hopefully there's no smoke. Okay, the switch, so the board is on now. And let's see. Oh, that's crazy. It's working. How low can we go on this? It's about as low as we can go. So this motor does work on AC and DC. So this could go into a go-kart or it could go onto a bike. If I could get a 100 volt controller, that would be even better. Oh. 